In this video, you'll learn how to create a connection in SQL Developer. Creating a connection is the first thing you'll need to do after you set up SQL Developer. You use a connection to connect to the database in order to run SQL queries on it. You can create a connection in SQL Developer and save it for future use. So this is only something you need to do once for each database you want to work with. Let's get into it. Step one is to open SQL Developer. I assume you've already downloaded it, but if not, you can do that from Oracle's website. So open SQL Developer and we can get started with creating a connection. Step two is to click the Create Connection button. This is the green plus symbol at the top left panel in SQL Developer. This will open a new window that lets you create the connection. So click the green plus button. Next, step three is to enter a name for your connection. This is the value that will appear in the list of connections and in drop-down lists when you need to select a connection. It's up to you what you call it. You don't need to name it the same as the server or the database or anything. Call it something that will make it clear when you look at it in a list of what it is. In this example, we'll call it localhost dev. Step four is to enter the login details for the connection. This is probably the hardest part as you need to know what details to enter. For the database type, leave that as Oracle. It's likely the only option anyway. In authentication type, this will most likely be the default, unless your workplace uses a different method. Someone in your team would know this. Enter the username you want to use to connect. For a database you have on your computer, this could be sys or system, or it could be another user that's been set up if you're doing this at work. Enter the password for this user. If you want the password to be saved so you don't have to enter it every time, check Save Password. Step 5 is to enter the connection details. This is the bottom half of the connection panel. The connection type can be left as basic, unless someone in your team knows that it should be set to something else. Enter the host name, which is the server name that the database runs on. If it's your own computer, enter localhost. The port will likely be the default Oracle port of 1521, so we'll only change this if someone on your team at work says you need to. For the next part, you select either SID or service name. If you're using Oracle 12C or later, you'll likely need to change this to service name and enter the appropriate service name. For example, on Oracle Express the service name is XEPDB1. This is another detail you can get from your team if you're at work. SQL Developer has a helpful feature that can help tell the difference between connections. And that is the ability to define a color for a connection. On the top right of the connection window is a color option. Click on the little box and you can select from a color palette. Selecting a color will do two things. It will show the connection name in a color in the list of connections. And it will also show a colored outline around the SQL editor window whenever you're using that connection. It can be really helpful to do for different environments. For example, connecting to production could be shown in red, so it's clear you're on production and not to mess anything up, if you're even allowed to connect to production. Choosing green for dev may be good to see that you're in your own environment. Choose whatever color you like or don't choose one at all. Once you've entered the connection details, click the test button. This will simulate a connection to the database and will check that all the details are correct. After clicking test, you should see a success message on the bottom left of the window. If not, you'll get an error that will tell you vaguely what the issue is. Common issues are incorrect service name, selecting SID or service name instead of the other, or incorrect username and password. There are too many issues to cover in this video, but I'll link below to some common ways to resolve connection issues. Once you've tested your connection and it works, click on connect. The connection is saved and you're connected to your database. You can click save before this if you like to save your connection details. Once you're connected, you can run queries on the database. So that's how you can create a new connection in SQL Developer. If you've learned something new from this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more about database design and development, visit databasestar.com. That's where I share my best database related content. Which step from this tutorial was the most helpful? 
Was it the ability to set a color for a connection, or the fact that SID and service name are common places for the cause errors, or something else? Thanks for watching.